I want to show you some of the power that Acumatica has to be able to quickly create entries so that you don't have to do things manually. We're going to use a previous journal entry, GL1436, as, as the basis for these new entries that we're going to be creating here. And the first thing I want to show you is the copy-paste function here. So if you have an entry that perhaps you've created before and you just want to quickly take a copy of that and create a new one so you don't have to manually key it in, you can use this copy function that you see highlighted on the screen. So you, all you do is you select copy once you have that journal transaction pulled up. You hit the plus button, and then we're going to go back to that little clipboard, and we're going to say paste. And there's your entry. So it's as easy as that to take a previous entry, copy, and paste it. Now, if your um, debits or credit amounts happen to be different, you certainly have the opportunity before you go ahead and finalize and release this transaction, you can have the, the opportunity to change those debit or credit amounts. Um, one thing that you're going to see throughout the system on any transactions is a button called release. So um, for people that have used other systems in the past, um, a lot of times other systems call that as posting. So Acumatica's term release equates to that posting term that you may be um, acclimated or, or familiar with from other systems. So once a transaction is released, right, it's finalized because this is a GAP compliant system, you can't make any changes to a release transaction. While this is releasing, the other way we can quickly create a transaction so we don't have to do manual entry is to use the um, transaction upload functionality. So we already have an Excel file prepared with all of our distribution detail in that. And we're going to use this file upload function to quickly take the information from that Excel file and bring that into Acumatica. So we're navigating out to that previously saved Excel file, and we're going to hit the Upload button and click OK to these common settings. And here is basically our mapping. So it's mapping the column names in the Excel file to the same column names that it's finding in this journal transaction. So as long as those column names are one and the same, the mapping happens automatically, and you can just take what's defaulting in, click OK, and it's going to upload that transaction. So again, this is great where you might have similar transactions, you know, week after week or month after month, but maybe the dollar amounts change. I find that it's easier to update dollar amounts in Excel instead of doing it right here in Acumatica. This upload functionality comes into hand where you can, you know, update your dollar amounts in that file that you used over and over again, update them in Excel, and then upload them automatically through this upload function. We can go ahead and we'll just release this transaction as well.